the coolest fish that swims. Prehistoric killing machine. Got him, got him, got him, big one, big one, big one. Got him, big one, big one, big one, yes! yes! Welcome back folks. We are here to bring you another exciting episode of Chasing the Wisconsin State Record Bowfin. We are in the heart of Bowfin country here around the Goose Island area of the mighty Mississippi. Uh, we were down here last weekend and got stormed off the water, unfortunately, by some pretty bad storms. There's down trees Well, and the landing everywhere. we used last time is the road is closed because of all the damage. Yeah, so we had to use another launch, but there's, there's lots of great access points along the Mississippi here. A um, little nicer conditions today. Not quite as hot, but it's still, it's cold front, which is why we're both in fishing, not musky fishing. 80 degree water temps on most of the lakes, so we opted for the species that doesn't mind warm water and actually prefers it. So at any rate, this little zone right behind us is the scene of the crime where Robbie lost the biggest bowfin we've ever had hooks in. Very sad moment in time, but redemption. We're gonna go back here and hopefully catch a fish of that caliber. Looks like it's more weeded than it used to be. That's not good. Yeah, yep. Back towards those trees, yeah. Got him. Both in. Net. Net, net, don't worry about the rod. Just okay. just dunk it. Just dunk it. I'm trying to get it You don't don't worry about it. Just put it in. Okay. Just put it in. <laughs> okay. Oh, both in. Oh my gosh. First spot. Both in. We got it. We got one. Woo! Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna spot lock outside this slop mess. Okay, yes, ate that frog. That's the kind of bite we want. Bowfin, you are a one prehistoric slimy machine. Look, we got slime, folks. Let's get her back. Oh, cool, look at that. Now she doesn't want to open her mouth. Okay. You have no handle to hold on to both in. <laughs> that is rather difficult. Okay, right behind us. This is the spot. This is the entryway to the spot of where the big ones live. So you can just see this little slight clearing in the middle. They really like these dead end um, channels that really don't lead to anywhere. Seems to be the more stagnant water, the more they like it, uh, at least in the summertime, however. Okay, let's get this frog rectified and get casting some more. Oh, that was big. Whatever that was, was really big. Something come up right where you cast it? No. Oh. Way left here. Oh. a lot of water. <gasps> Pike. Got him. I got, got him. him. Real, 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 real. I am. I Good am. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Pull, pull, oh, pull, God. pull. There you go. That's how you do it. All right. Now leave him in the water. Okay. All right. Bring him to me. I'll get a hold of him. Pike. Good job. You got him out of that. See? Uh, That's how you got to do it. Just like when I said pull, you pull. That was perfect. <laughs> Here, do you want to hold your pike? Yeah. There's little ones I usually grab kind of by the outside like that and just kind of squeeze, squeeze? shut. Not super hard, just, okay. and if he shakes, throw him outside the boat. Like Here, we'll show it, it to me. Down. Like I'm holding it wrong. I need to hold it like this. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's just a little guy. It's upside down in the world. A... He's cute. He had there a nice, he came all the way up. Wow, oh, that was cool. That was nice. All right, Thanks see, for two for two so far. That's good on frogs. There we go. See you, buddy. Yeah, so this spot really kind of illustrates kind of a prime bowfin habitat. We've got kind of a side channel here in front of us that we came down. 
Um, but then we've got this dead end bay here. It kind of splits off into two, um, but you see that there's like this open channel um, that kind of meanders and flows through here. Um, and then the bowfin that we just caught was actually right in this mouth, which is kind of the continuation of that open water you can see in front. Um, it's just got algae in it right here. This, right in this zone here is where that bowfin, probably right about here is where it came out of. So it was definitely associated with the channel. They don't like to live in the really thick weeds. They like to be uh, next to them with some sort of clearing that they can paddle through. They just don't seem to like to live under the thick mats is what I'm saying. So it's kind of a, kind of the locations that we're looking for. We're looking on Google Maps and trying to find dead end sloughs, dead end bays, uh, obviously with a duckweed or, you know, flooded. That's why the Mississippi is so killer for this because you got all kinds of meandering waterways and ponds and, you know, all kinds of backwater sloughs like this. So that is the kind of structure we're looking for. Under me, come on. Oh, shit, I got him. <laughs> okay, another one. <laughs> another one. That is not very good. It's all right. Fix it here. There we go. Got her. Oh, oh man, that was wet. That. that was wet one. We had been fishing that fish for, I don't know, 15 minutes we've been working this spot. We know they're just kind of rolling at it. This one finally committed big time. Yeah, they do, uh, they, they do a number on your frog. It's amazing you ever hook these things. Their mouth is just so tough. Nothing but bone. Where are you? There you are. About the same size as the other one. Not big, but... It's actually maybe a little smaller. Oh, interestingly, this water is much cooler than right back where we caught the other one. Reaching in the water, I can feel it's actually cooler water. Okay, just a little smaller, but just an amazingly cool fish. Wow, we got a lot of, you slime a lot. You're making a mess in here. Ooh. Look at the dorsal fin, how that runs all the way the length, almost the length of that fish. Mud muskies, love them. Okay, go back to your little slimy house here and you'll just disappear into the, into the weeds. This is not easy fishing. You gotta keep them things coming. So, I mean, the problem is they don't aggressively hit it all the time. That one ate it, the one in the beginning ate it. We've had, I don't know, half a dozen other bites that just nip at it. Um, they just have to hit it aggressively to actually get a hook in them. Their mouth is actually quite small. Okay, folks, we'll get our frog back whipped into kind of shape. All the weeds off the line. Yeah, what a mess. Yeah, you're going to... I have a white shirt on today. <laughs> it's going to be green. I know it's going to be hot, but that's why I wore it. But yeah, it's going to be filthy. And just to show you the gear I'm using, I got the Shimano Corrado. Uh, this is the 7.7 Heavy Action, um, got 50 pound Power Pro Super Slick V2, Corrado 200K HG, um, I think that's a 7 to 1 ratio, I forget, maybe 6 to 1, I don't know. Anyway, it's the HG, but the big thing is you got to have that 50 pound braid to get these fish out of the weeds, and you'll notice here too, as much as we hate to run it, you gotta run some wire in front of this. We've got a small, pretty strong snap. We've got 20 pound Terminator titanium wire. This titanium wire, look, I can wrap it around my finger, pull it off, and it's still totally straight and kinkless. Um, real small ant swivel here. Try to show you that right there. Tied to the 50 pound braid, and that's the rig we're rolling here, fishing in basically a foot of water and about three feet of duck crap. So 
nasty, stinky, slimy, lots of duckweed, cheese, you name it. And you notice where this fish came out, it was this little clearing. They like these little clearings that are associated with the sloppy bass, so. Bass, I think. Yep. Okay, the other bycatch. Pike and bass, the bycatch of bowfin fishing. I'll take it. Nice little chunky river bass. Thanks, buddy. Was actually right for a change when the fish hit. I figured it was a bass. Usually I think everything is a bowfin, and then it's not. Where's the next dog pound? Oh God, I got him. Good one, good one. Good one, that's a nice one. It's a pike. Dang it, I'll hand do it. Thanks for being ready though. Gosh, I thought that was a slob bowfin. It's just a nice size pike. That's a quality fish. Look at that. Boy, he's stocky. Look how thick he is across the back. I'll take it, it was fun, and he didn't tear my frog up too bad, so <laughs> we'll take him. Oh, look, look, both in giant, giant right here. I'm not even gonna move. I just wanna get him on camera. Look at him, that's a 28 incher. If you pick up a jig, he might eat it. Jig. He's, he has not moved. He, I guess we don't have one on. <laughs> oh my, don't. Yeah, let's see if he moved. Yep, he's still there. He's still there. I'm gonna get a jig on for you and let you drop it down. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Where's that jig? Grab it. Just try to be quiet. I'm gonna throw it past him and then give you the rod. Okay. I don't know where he is though. Oh, he's gonna bite it. He's gonna bite it. Yep. Get ready. Get ready. Okay, what do I do? Just get ready. Okay. Hop. He's got it. Oh, dang it. He's still there. Yep, yep. Sink, sink, sink. Oh my gosh, he ate it. Just didn't have it all the way in. Yeah. How cool is that? That was <laughs> unbelievable. That was so intense. He's still here though, come on. Pick it up. Oh my gosh. Just, yeah, look, you can see how he pulled it down. Pulled his pants. Oh my gosh. Just sitting right in that clearing. Where are you? That was an upper 20. That was a big one. Look, there's one right there. This is the other spot we had hit from him. Go ahead and grab your frog. Yeah, he ain't coming back. Oh my gosh. He ate your jig. He freaking ate it. it. Wasn't that crazy? He could see him turn on it. Oh my God, it's so flipping cool. He swam right this way into this little, some, oh, here he is. I got him, I got him. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Well, he's backing up. He doesn't want it. Look at him. It's like an arapaima. Wow, he's staring at it. Come on. Spin. Look at him. Look. Oh, he's looking. He's 
he won't do it. He's too smart now. Another one right here. Oh, he moved. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. But not that I can't catch him. He wisened up. He, he took one bite of it and that was it. Okay, we've spent a lot of time at the dog spot. A lot of time. Missed the big one. But got two, so that's not too, too bad. I'm not too dissatisfied with that result, but it's time to move on. Gonna go find some new spots, some stuff I've never fished before. So that's the plan now. Get this, get this ship on the road here, whatever that means. Got him. Yep. Seen bassy, but yep. Nice one. Not bad. Not what I want, but I'll take it. These doggies are just swerving us. Yeah, nice too. Really? Yeah, nice pike. Oh. I think. No, good bass, real good bass. Oh, oh man. That's a nice one. Wow. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's too big to hoist. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> there we go. Right off of the wood. Beautiful. Mississippi River Largy, probably a solid three. Look how chunky that thing is. Nice fish, just not the target species. Oh, he's mad, he's gonna shake. There we go. Nice fish. Nice pike. Oh yeah. yeah. This might might be a net. I'm not sure. Just in case. Oh yeah. Oh, nice one. Uh, got it. That's a good one. All right, right where they're supposed to be. Yep. Right in this current seam, you can see this water where there's a little slick and then it's ripply on both sides. That's a wind-induced current right there and a nice skater. Pike loves spinnerbaits. Look at that. Decent gator for the middle of summer. It's tough to find those big pike. You have to know where those spring holes are on the Mississippi out here to find them and, and I don't know them because I have not spent a ton of time out here but that's a good specimen I'll take that very cool you gonna get me wet the big pike send off oh, yep. oh yeah <laughs> of course they always do it holy <laughs> cow actually feels really good today I told you there'd be big pike in this bay all right, need a couple more of those. I got. No. Nope. Got them? Yep, I do. All right. I'm on. Did you just Yep. Okay. Yep. Not bad. There we go. I don't know if you need to get them. We'll take it because <laughs> we want to get a little video of them. Okay. All you had to do is cast. Oh. 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 <laughs> yep. Pikey. On the spinner baits, they like spinner baits. Yeah, that was fun. Whoop, oh, throw him out. He's, he's grunting. He's... <laughs> uh, okay, can we go home now? We've been go home. <laughs> yeah. There's no go home. This is prime time. I'm burnt. I know. The sun was absolutely <laughs> relentless <Real>. today. <laughs> it's just going over the mountain. It feels about 10 degrees cooler oh, right now. Does it ever? <sighs> Oh. I can't get rid of it. Yeah. Get out as far as you can and then pull it out. 
Yeah, I have been. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. I didn't even, wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> there we go. That's a nice one. Okay. Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> right underneath, oh right my. there. There's a good one. <laughs> Even with your line boogered off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Nice fish. Wow, gonna, okay, that was just grab the line. Okay, let's get a look. You weren't expecting that one, I were you? I wasn't ya? paying attention. <laughs> well, you thought you had a tangle in your line. I and... have a backlash, yeah. I can't quite get it, but this guy just jumped right on, so. The okay. bite window is on, very cool. Let's catch some more. We're not going home yet. Okay. It's too good. It's too good. <laughs> right. You don't go home when they're biting. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Oh my God. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> that's how the that's the classic pike send off. Oh, got him. Oh, I missed him. Oh my gosh. Just suck at fishing. God, that sucked. He hit it immediately when it hit the water. That was stupid. <sighs> oh, there we go. I'm on. Yeah. I can't tell. Nope, I got it. I'll get him. Just a fun one. Stocky little dude. Definitely chunk. Beautiful gator, man. They get big on this water. Thank you. In case you're curious what uh, rigs we're rolling here, I got a six foot 10 Corrado bass rod, 15 pound mono on here. Got the Banta Magnum Light HG Shimano. Yeah, the Bantam, this thing is all one piece of aluminum. The thing is so rigid, so tight. The tolerances are just amazing. This thing should pretty much last, last a lifetime. Or close. Oh, yep, Got him? yep. Right. I thought I had one and then I didn't feel it anymore. Oh boy, nice one. Whoa. <laughs> That rod bent. Oh, sorry. No. Oh. Off the boat. He's gonna come back. Here we go. Another nice one. <gasps> Putting on a clinic here. <laughs> Look at that chunk. That's a good one. Very nice fish. All right. Ready? Okay, okay, I'm ready. All right. Oh, this one's bigger. Those Oops. are perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you didn't even know you had one for a second. <laughs> Again, it was like, I think I hit. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, this guy decided to shake. <laughs> so we're just going to get him back. I got a hold of him now. This is kind of a hard size to keep your hands on. Okay. <laughs> anyway. You're slimed. I'm slimed. We're both slimed. This is a great problem. Well, folks, the bite has slowed a bit. Uh, Bar put the clinic on the pike. That was a nice little session. Perfect timing that, you know, with this cliff in the background, we're able to kind of get that premature sunset and get a really nice juicy bite window on those spinner baits. Pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Very fun. That it was... made my burn feel 
little less painful. Yeah, yeah. It, it's <laughs> nice when you have something to equal out the pain, some, some good. So you feel good when you're driving home at night. Yeah, the endorphins are still running, so I'm good. Oh, yeah. Well, we started out a couple of, couple of bow fins. That was huge. Um, saw some really good ones paddling around. Um, almost got that one. Actually did bite, but didn't quite get the hooks in it. Um, learned a couple new spots. Came back to one where I've caught, I've caught pike on this little spot before. Not this many, so that was pretty cool. Um, other than that, uh, the mission continues for the Wisconsin State record bow fin. Eventually, that fish could happen. You just got to be on quality water where that big a fish lives. And that's why we came down all the way down here to the Mississippi. So that's all we got for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button. And we will catch you guys on the next doggy hunt.